What's going on, boils and ghouls? I'm Chain Smoking Mike with another cigar review. This time I have the Alec Bradley's Magic Toast Toro cigar. Here's what it looks like. It's, uh, it's going to be a medium to full bodied uh, smoke, nothing too special. It's a Toro size, so it's going to be like 6x52 ring gauge. Anyway, let's pop a smoke, shall we? All right, got it to a nice even burn. So far, my fla the flavor impressions, uh, it's a robust cigar. Uh, the flavor notes that I'm detecting, it's like a leathery kind of, how would I phrase this? Just so far, it's leathery kind of tasting. That's the best way I can describe it. Let's see if we can get any other flavor notes. Alright, now I can taste a little more. Um, so again, it's leathery, kind of chocolatey, with a uh, emphasis more on like a espresso coffee kind of taste. Followed with a nice creamy aftertaste. definitely a more full-bodied towards Robusto kind of cigar. And uh, the cigar itself is very bitter, at least to me. But really the overall flavor notes so far, very leathery with a chocolate espresso coffee kind of taste. And the aftertaste is very unforgiving. You absolutely will have to uh, get a drink with this particular cigar. He is not a happy camper in terms of flavor. Very aggressive and strong. Kind of loosening up the tightness. It feels pretty tight. Trying to loosen it up so that it burns nice and even uh, later. <clears throat> Very robust. With an emphasis on a espresso and 
some leathery uh, notes. I'm also tasting a bit of a earthy woodiness. Something similar to like a hardwood. Probably like hickory, something along those lines. Maybe an ebony kind of wood. Just a very strong hardwood aftertaste. So far, my thoughts on the Magic Toast, Alec Bradley. Very strong and robust. Definitely a good cigar after a nice, uh, hearty meal. Has a lot of uh, more stronger flavors that you tend to associate with a good cigar. Uh, if I was to rate this out of 5 stars, I'd give it a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Not too crazy about the aftertaste. It kind of lingers in my mouth for a while, and I don't like that. However, I can appreciate the very strong and more robust side of this cigar. I am a big fan of that. Henceforth, the 3.75 out of 5 stars. But overall, not the most interesting cigars in term terms of flavor, in my opinion. Um, there are some decent amount of flavor in this cigar, but the aftertaste is kind of a turnoff for me. But overall, it's a decent uh, tasting cigar. Definitely more on the Robusto kind of flavor intensity of cigars. Would I get the Magic Toast Alec Bradley in the future? Possibly. Not that often. It's definitely one of those cigars out there that tastes decent, but it's not my absolute favorite. I think my absolute favorite cigars would have to be the Session Cigars, the Macundo Inspirado Black, and the Partagas Extra Obscuro Robusto Cigars. Those three cigars, to me personally, those are my absolute favorites in the market around where I live. However, I am open to taste other different cigars to enlarge my smoking palate, if you will. It definitely has a strong, woody, with a subtle, creamy aftertaste. It's very strong in its aftertaste. not as strong as a Asylum 13 Midnight Label cigar or a Quorum Robusto. Those two particular cigars are probably the strongest tasting cigars that I've ever had, especially the Asylum 13. That particular one was a bear to smoke. Very robust and strong. However, the Asylum 13 Midnight Label Cigar was a very satisfying cigar in terms of smoking intensity. Not so much in flavor. It was very strong and robust. I think I added some cloves to offset the stronger, robust part of the cigar. I, which I occasionally do with my cigars, but I don't really do it as often. Mainly because... I want to taste the full unabridged flavor without adding my own little twist to the cigar. Relighting a section of it, it's kind of burning at an angle. 
which tends to happen with my Toro size cigars. Flavor is is remaining quite consistently. N nothing too radical in terms of flavor differences as I progress with this particular cigar. This particular cigar that I'm having is quite a robust one. I'm going to remove the cellophane wrapper so that I could truly enjoy this cigar in all of its glory. What's crazy is compared to the Torpedo cigar that I've had not too long ago, uh, this cigar is burning a little bit quicker. Which I find a quite interesting. So far out of all of the Alec Bradley line cigars, I really liked the Max Freak cigar. It was a big ring gauge, like yay big. That was a good cigar. Probably my personal favorite out of the Alec Bradley line so far. Oof. smoked about a about a, a half of this guy and so far the flavor itself has an emphasis on the espresso coffee with a leathery kind of note but with a subtle creamy aftertaste with a emphasis on a more hardwood kind of taste something similar to like a hickory like a very strong hardwood like ebony hickory stuff like that I'm probably going to finish off the cigar in my leisure. Uh, you just watched my review of the Alec Bradley Magic Toast Cigar. Um, I'm giving it a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Overall, it's a pretty decent cigar, but the aftertaste is kind of a turnoff for me. The flavor itself of the cigar is quite phenomenal. I do enjoy a nice, robust kind of flavor profile. And that's pretty much it with the Alec Bradley Magic Toast. Stay tuned and rock and roll as always, my friends. Thank you for watching.